Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. I hope you're all doing great today. We got some more Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon action to get into. And I am already just so in love with this game, man. So in love with it. There's been so many good games lately. Between this and Baldur's Gate 3, I'm just so incredibly happy. Anyway, let's hop on in there. If you guys remember, I left off with a certain build that involved two chain guns as well as a pile bunker. The pile bunker is, you know, a very strong piercing weapon, which basically just takes a steel rod and punches it straight through enemies, which is actually extremely effective against other ACs once you get a stun on them, a stagger. Now, the stagger mechanic is actually new to... You know, I, I shouldn't say new. It's new in the format that it's in, in this game, where you can actually, like, overwhelm an enemy with a lot of impact, and it makes them sit still for a second, which opens up a massive opportunity to hit with the pile bunker or any other hard-hitting weapon that you might have. And for me, it's the pile bunker. It's something that has already proven extremely effective against other enemies in the arena. And we're going to try out this same build. We're going to try out this same exact build out there in a regular sortie. I did change up the AC's uh, color scheme a little bit. Made it look like it's a little bit worn, like it's seen some action. I like it. I like it. The white and red. I've always liked white and red on a lot of things. I'm going to put yellow on the Gatling guns because I don't know why. I just did. I just did. Next thing I want to do is look at some of this tuning stuff. I want to try... Where is... Let's try Terminal Armor. We have enough OST chips there. I feel like Terminal Armor, since it's automatic, might be better than Pulse Armor. I find Pulse Armor to not be so great, mostly because of the control scheme that it takes in order to use it. Control and R is kind of awkward for me to hit at the same time, and I don't know why. So let's go ahead and equip Terminal Armor instead, which will protect us and keep us alive if we hit one, one health, one AP, if you will. There we go. I feel like that'll be more sustainable for us. Who do I see in chat? I see Lukido, Biggie, Setheroth, Jan, Cosmic Kitty, Dom, ja uh, Jasmine again, hello. Uh, Yasin, Enjoy, Enjoy, A Soul to Bear, Evergreen, Liv, Kirstain, Srebov, Setheroth, that one guy, Ugo, Andre, Mark Mongrel. Scarecrow. I think I said Scarecrow once already, but that's fine, man. Hello again. What's up, Lisa? Agamemnon. Cosmic Kitty. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, Rambo. What's up, folks? Thank you all for tuning in, and thank you for also pressing the like button. Barge. Damon. Broken Gamer. Gabriel Lunds. Talon. Hello. Hello. Have you run any of the training sorties yet? I have not. Let me actually do that now. How do I do that? Is it under sortie? Yeah, I guess we'll just run some of the training stuff. Learn to pilot an AC and master fundamental battle techniques from the training menu. Complete the exercises using the training AC to earn standardized training parts used for introduction. Oh, this is going to give us more parts. Okay. Let's do it then. Let's do it. We're going to do all these because it'll give us more parts. What's up, Vincent? Biggie, the Black Witch. Hello. Hello. To land shots on moving enemies, you must pull the trigger while they're within lock-on lock range, where target tracking is active. Okay. Hold on, reloading. Okay, reloading. Weapons with magazines will automatically reload when the weapon's magazine is depleted. Manu manually reload before engaging the enemy to minimize the risk that your attacks will be interrupted by a reload. R plus the mouse button. Okay, okay. Easy, easy. With your second mission, great game. Glad you're enjoying it, man. Missile lock. To use missiles and other homing rounds, keep the enemy on screen until lock-on completes, then fire. Some missile weapons are capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding the input for the weapon. E is to use right shoulder weapon. Hold E, right shoulder weapon, multi-lock attack. 
R during multi-lock, cancel multi-lock. Bada bing, bada boom. Neat. Melee weapons equipped to the left hand require a risky close range approach but have high attack power and impact which are useful for destroying shields. Use left hand weapon, left hand weapon chain attack, hold to charge. Yes, very good. We do a basic attack, boom. We do a chain attack. Hold on. Boom, boom. And then we do a charge attack. Hold on, we're charging. It's all very easy. What's better, AC6 or BG3? They're not comparable in any fashion, Andre. One is a mech action game. One is a isometric view, deep D&D based RPG. Neither of them are comparable to the other in any way, shape, or form. None at all. They have no similar mechanics at all, period. They're not to be on the same table. Scanning. You can detect nearby enemies or containers that hold AC parts by scanning. Any objects that were detected by the scan will be temporarily highlighted. If an enemy is detected, you will be able to achieve lock-on even through walls or other cover. Now see, I've only used scan once and it was on complete accident when I pressed the wrong button. Now, is it on a recharge or can I just spam it? Oh, I see it on the bottom left. It does recharge. Okay. to zoom out there. Is that going to work? What's up, Mifid Blue? How's it going? Oh, we get uh, the Ludlow machine gun. Look at that. Look at that, guys. We do indeed get new parts from doing the training stuff. All right, next one is beginner training two, combat fundamentals. We've already made it through chapter one, but let's go back to the fundamentals, guys. Charge attacks. Some weapons are capable of charge attacks, which exhibit different properties and behavior compared to regular attacks. Okay, right hand weapon, hold, charge, and R during charge cancels it. Okay. Neat. ACS strain and stagger. The attitude control system of a craft can be compromised by accumulated strain from the impact of repeated attacks. ACS overload results in a vulnerable state, which is called stagger, during which the, oh my God, words, during which time the afflicted craft will be immobilized and susceptible to critical damage. Okay. Hold on, reloading. During stagger, all incoming attacks are treated as direct hits and deal much more damage. Neat. ACS Accumulative Strain. ACS strain inflicted on enemies resets after a brief interval, but a portion of that strain will remain. Weapons vary in the amount of accumulative strain they inflict, which ex with explosive impact, generally leaving the most ACS strain. Oh yeah, I see that now. I guess I, I never realized that before. Never realized that it actually like has a minimum. That's useful to know. And to think, this is supposed to be like fundamentals that I completely missed. 
Now, like I said before, these are mechanics that were, or that is new to this franchise, so. Surprise attacks. Attacks on enemies that are unaware of your presence will inflict greater ACS strain than usual. Shield defense. Shields equipped to the left shoulder can be deployed to reduce incoming damage and ACS strain. Hold Q. I can even fire while it's up. Damn, that's crazy. Attack indicators and initial guard. Shield output is maximized for one to two seconds after deployment. Okay, that makes sense. Blocking during this initial guard window can help to minimize incoming damage and ACS strain. Hold Q in response to warning initial guard. Okay. Ah, nice. Okay, so how much damage do we take normally? Okay, so that's 615 during initial guard we take. 215. Let's do a regular block and see what the difference is. 338. So yeah, that's definitely worth doing. Assault boost attacks. During assault boost rush attacks, small arms can be used during movement. Wow. Small arms that can be used during movement will inflict greater impact and impact you receive will be reduced. Well, that didn't work out how I wanted it to. But that's okay. Neat. What's up, Screamer? Having a grande, grande day? Spend most of it with my mom? Nice, dude. Nice. Linear rifle, Curtis. Curtis, guys. I, I unlocked Curtis. Hey, guys, I just, I just designed this new linear rifle. What should we name it? Uh, Curtis? Curtis seems like a good linear rifle name. All right, dude. Curtis it is. No, not that. Training. Intermediate support one. Assembling an AC. What's up, Martin? What's up, Yoon? Double trigger. One way to assemble an AC is to install ranged weapons to both hands. This is known as the double trigger style among veteran pilots. Double trigger assemblies use, sub use machine guns or similar weapons can destroy enemies at a reliable pace and are suitable or suited for taking on multiple enemies at once. Boosters and mobility. The mobility of an AC is greatly influenced by its overall weights and the type of boosters installed. This AC is fitted with boosters that have a short QB reload time spec, which allows it to outpace enemies with consecutive quick boost usage. We zoom in. Generators and basic specs. The generator installed to your AC greatly influences the rest of the assembly, from the selection of usable parts to the basic performance of the AC. This AC is equipped with a generator that prioritizes EN capacity in order to allow extensive use of aerial maneuvers and quick boosts. Aerial maneuvers, you say? Hold on, let me reload my weapons. I like aerial maneuvers as much as anyone else.
Neat. Neat, dude. FCS and engagement distance. The FCS, or fire control system, installed to the AC affects target tracking at close, medium, long range, and missile lock on multi lock time. This AC is equipped with an FCS that is specialized for close range combat, allowing it to reliably land attacks with its high firepower weapons. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess they're right. Yeah, they're not wrong. It is reliable. <laughs> hey, have one! Hey, you guys want some too? Hold on, let me dodge and then just... Hold on. Whoa, bamboozled ya. Wow. Wow. Hope you're having a good day too, Liv. AC assembly and strategy. The weapons and selections of parts used to assemble an AC determine its ideal combat range and style. This AC is equipped with four ranged weapons to specialize in concentrated fire at medium range. Hold left and right mouse buttons, rapid fire both hand weapons, E to use right shoulder weapon, Q for left shoulder, control for assault boost. We're done here. We're done here. Oh, a new booster, huh? A new booster and a new FCS as well. And a new generator. I feel like they're giving me enough to just make a whole new AC with everything across the board. All right, uh, sortie, training, Reverse joint ACs. Hey, Martin, how's it going? Thank you all for tuning in today, and thank you for leaving a like on the video. I appreciate it loads. Reverse joint legs units excel at jumping, can also leverage their leg strength to improve quick boosts. These leg units are also capable of high jumps that do not consume energy, making it easier to achieve aerial retreats and shift to aerial combat. Area attacks. The left shoulder grenade cannon on this AC fires explosive rounds that cause area damage upon impact. When using weapons of this nature, you can exploit area damage to greatly affect by firing at the ground from an aerial position. That is, if I don't die first. Hold on, recharging, and boop. Weapons fall into one of three categories depending on the type of damage they inflict, kinetic, explosive, and energy. The defensive performance of ACs and other craft varies for each of these damage types, determining their susceptibility or resistance. Energy weapons and overheating. Energy weapons produce heat when fired, and this can ultimately result in overheating. When overheated, the weapon will be temporarily disabled, but functionality will be regained once the weapon has been allowed to cool. Avoid overheating by monitoring your rate of fire. I think this guy likes cannons. Yeah, he's a big fan. Ricochets. Ricocheting will occur when enemies have high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take. To counteract this, try attacking at closer range or switch to explosive weapons. 
Cannon sure is slow, but damn does it go boom. Laser handgun, okay. Not bad, not bad. Next one is Tetrapod ACs. These are fun. Welcome back, Storm. Good to have you, dude. Hey, Kenneth. Tetrapod leg units have high loading capacity and enable AC units equipped with multiple heavy weapons. Tetrapod ACs can switch to hover mode after ascending from off from the ground, allowing them to remain suspended in the air for some time. Space and air, hover mode on or off. Okay. Any hoverers? We sure do be hovering, though. Recoil. Charge attacks and fire from heavy weapons such as grenade launchers cause more recoil than other attacks, forcing the AC to assume a firing stance. Tetrapods are capable of absorbing this kind of recoil, allowing these attacks to be executed during movements. Sure do, bud. We enjoy that around here. I should probably relax a minute and get my energy back. And we're back. Listen, guys, I don't really appreciate the shields that you're employing. Okay. Not a fan. Is it multiplayer? Yes, there is PvP. Hover mode allows you to maintain a high altitude in turn, making it easier to establish a line of fire and lock on without geographical obstruction. I mean, that's what we're doing already, man. What do you mean? What do you mean, bro? No co-op, not to my knowledge. A new grenade launcher. Whoa. Training, the final one is Tank AC. The big boys. It's your first Armored Core game. Gotta say, I love the level of customization. Yeah, dude, it's always been about just making your own way in these games. It's been great. Tank leg units are heavily armored and boast excellent loading capacity. In addition to lending themselves to high durable builds, they are also good candidates for high firepower assemblies. Tank type ACs are capable of absorbing recoil, which allows them to fire heavy weapons without entering a firing stance. We do enjoy Gatling guns. Tank type ACs can drift to quickly change the direction they're facing. To execute a drift, use WASD in the direction you want to face immediately after a quick boost.
repeat it again. Overheat it again. It's Tokyo Drift out here, dude. Damn. Vertical Missile Launcher. Okay. New exercise data added to training. You have more training for me? More? Advanced Merc Certification. All right. During real missions, you can expect enemy reinforcements and other changes to the situation. The test of an advanced Merc is in their ability to adjust to a wide range of combat scenarios and adapt their AC to meet the needs of the mission. So you mean kill them all, yeah? Did that really miss? Shit, man. That sucks. Hold on. Gotta try again here. I missed again? Shit, man. Come here. Come here, dude. Come here, man. I suck at this game right now. Round and round we go. Try again. Come here. Hello. Oh, have this. Thank you. that not work? I am confusion. Hmm. up feels the game is great dude achievement unlocked cheap uh-oh congratulations on your certification you have proven your skills by completing the entire combat training regimen registration number rb23 call sign raven all mind anticipates excellent performance uh huh. Advanced Mercenary. You completed the entire training program. What do we get? Emblem acquired? Advanced Mercenary? Oh, baby. I'm so advanced. I'm so advanced, dude. Is it intuitive using keyboard? I feel like this is a controller kind of game. I've been having a great time using uh, keyboard and mouse just fine. The only thing I don't like is there's a control for some things where you have to press control and R at the same time. I have a tendency to hit one or the other first. So I, I struggle with that, but that I think that's more of a personal thing. Everything else is pretty fluid. All right, guys, if you recall, we did finish chapter one last night. So we're now on to chapter two. Infiltrate grid 086. You got to reach the center. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. 
Now again, we are going in with just two chain guns and a pile bunker. I'm fine with that. We're going to see how it goes. I think if we run out of ammo, the pile bunker will still suit us to where it can take things out, so. Here's the request from Balin Industries. They want you to carry out an advanced survey of the central ice field. To confirm the information Walter brought to them about the coral convergence. As for how to cross the Aulian Ocean, this is the Intercontinental Cargo Launcher installed on the upper level of Grid 086. You could use it to launch your AC to the ice field. Grid 086 is occupied by the Dozers, outlaws who treat coral like a drug. It's also the territory of a belligerent group of arms dealers who call themselves R.A.D. Be prepared for a perilous journey. I'll be here to support you, Raven. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. Now, I hope that we get to actually use this launcher manually and launch ourselves across the ocean. Please tell me we get to do that. I just want to launch a giant hunk of metal across the world. <laughs> Thank you for 100 likes on the stream, guys. I appreciate it. 100 likes on the video. Thank you very much. Guitar player, hope you're doing well. Commencing infiltration to grid 086. Seven button mouse will eliminate difficult to get keybinds. Uh, it's not so much that for me. I, I, I do that sometimes for some games, but... It just comes down to I'm... Hold on. I'm kind of on the lazier side. I don't want to have to constantly switch like button setups and whatnot. Even profiles. I don't like switching between, so I just don't really mess with that much. Let's get to work, shall we? We shall. Let's go. Main system. Activating combat mode. I've sent you the marker data. Let's head toward the elevator going to the upper level. Well, this thing certainly does slap. Gatling guns are good, man. Invincible rummy? How's that for invincible, dude? Guy didn't even get to finish his dialogue. Or his monologue, rather. <laughs> Man was still in his monologue when he died. I don't have a uh, Steam Deck myself, otherwise I would try it as well. You know, since we're not under a time constraint, guys, I kind of want to explore some of these levels more. I just, I, I can't help but feel like I'm missing out on things.
Well, I mean, there's some extra enemies there. We get paid for more of those, so that's cool. That's neat. How many chapters in the game? Couldn't tell you. No idea. Kept us waiting, Torrent. Told you we love a good party. What the hell are these? Well, you're no slouch, are you? <laughs> okay, we're down to about 700 rounds in each Gatling gun. I keep wanting to say chain guns, but they're... I guess they're similar enough. Halfway through our ammo. <laughs> Melee when you can. What's up, Alan? That's what I'm saying. Hire me. Hire me. I'm a mercenary. Pay me for the, the merc work, dude. Okay, it wants me to go right up there, but there's still more things. We can go all the way back here. And so because of the amount of these levels that are explorable, like, look at all this. I can't help but feel like there's going to be hidden stuff, man. Okay, that's the edge of the level there. drone thank you for 18 months of membership dude what is 6.9 point one short of seven what do you think i was gonna say i thought you're gonna say nice dude that's what i thought i thought you're gonna say nice <laughs> pad drone thank you for 18 months dude welcome back bud Oh, I really missed that? That sucks. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. Okay, maybe I don't got you. There you go. Pile bunker. Hey, that's out of bounds. to Baldur's Gate. No, I didn't finish it. I, uh, like I explained before on the community tab on Twitter and in Discord, I just didn't have the time to do it because I was given early access to Starfield. So I've been, you know, covering that and making a bunch of videos as well as I'll be streaming it when that comes out. You don't get a whole lot of opportunities like that as a content creator. So I'm trying to capitalize on that. So I just haven't had the time to finish Baldur's Gate. I love Baldur's Gate, don't get me wrong, but I gotta capitalize on opportunities presented to me, you know? Okay, 
Okay. We're running low on ammo. Don't hit me. I'm just exploring. I'm just an exploring boy. Look at this, dude. There is things. There are there are things rather. Words. What is this? 2C3000 Wrecker. We just get yeah, okay, 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 okay. This means that you can find more parts. Excellent news. We gotta explore these levels more thoroughly, folks. Can anyone confirm if the Karasawa laser rifle is in the game, by the way? Can anyone confirm that? I truly hope it is. It would feel really bad for an Armored Core game if it's not. But I have not seen a single thing on it. Granted, I've not really looked either, but... What's up, Devin? How have you been, man? What's good besides the gaming? It's amazing, Holy. I know, dude. The gaming lately has been nuts. But alright, though, dude. Hanging out, playing video games, having a blast. You bet. Oh, he really just did shield stuff me there. Confirmed it is in the game. Sick. Sick. So that was the first item in a level that I found. This is also the first level where I've truly explored around too. So now that I know, I'm going to be exploring every level a little more thoroughly. That's the one I just opened, right? So I just need to look around so I can find this stuff. Also, guys, tonight, our boy Daz is going to be uh, commentating on a tournament that his gaming organization is holding for a sponsor. I believe it's Haritos. So you might hear some noise in the background at certain points throughout the night, just so you know, just so you're aware. If you hear a screaming guy in the background, it's okay. No one is getting hurt. No one's dying. It's just Daz. It's just Daz, man. <laughs> oh, we can resupply. Tight. What's up, Wise Kuma? How you doing? I'm really excited that there are things discoverable in the levels, though. That that adds value to the game for me. I love that. There's another AC. Let's beat him up. Oh, that is not an AC. Oh, my. I can't see a damn thing. I can't see. Hello? <laughs> Dude, the visibility there was terrible. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another AC. Turns out it's um whatever the hell that thing is. <laughs> Holy shit. Devin, though, I hope you've been good. Uh, you said, been good. Thanks. Took the weekend off to play this and have a blast so far. I figured you would be playing this as it's a, so a from soft game. It's good to have you here today, man. I miss having you around more. It's not an AC. It's a super AC. Damn it, I messed up again. Okay. The thing is just eating me for lunch. That is, that, that's not good. Oh my. 
my Christ. Okay, this thing is the pain. Oh. <laughs> Alright, the secret to this one, guys, is to try to be in the air a little more. Be in the air a little more often. Is repair similar to Estus? Yes. Ninety-nine percent sure Karasawa is only New Game Plus. Uh, I mean, yeah, it might be. It is an Easter egg type weapon, after all. get the uh the big damage i was hoping for there because i couldn't really position myself well but it's a good start what's not a good start is landing in liquid hot magma i'm in danger oh i'm in danger chad Can I get in there maybe and do a little bit of stabby boys? Oh yeah, I can. Oh yeah, I can. Ducked under that <laughs> last hit there. That's good. We're fine. We're fine. I miss. We're not fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I shouldn't have done that. Screamy right there. Complete. So I didn't really get to explore this room.
Now I know how my girlfriend feels. Jesus Christ, dude. All right, 321K, a good payday. And we get the new legs, Wrecker. Wrecker legs, dude. Wait, phrasing. Wreck her, not wreck her. Wonder how tank legs perform in the air in this game. Tank legs themselves are not so great in the air, but they do have a decent amount of movement on the ground called drifting. If you want to be in the air more, you want bi uh, reverse bipedals or reverse joints or quadruped. This could just be another one of her traps. But after the impression you left on her last time, I think it's unlikely. Let's take a look at the briefing. All right, let's take a look at some new... Uh... Hold on, let me check out the legs that I have that I just unlocked. New leggies! All right, they have more AP, a little bit more attitude stability, more load limit, a lot more load limit. Damn, those are the big tanky boy legs. I kind of want to see if we can do something as far as getting some faster legs, but our current load is really pushing that capability. Like we're like right on the cusp of being overweight here. I mean, even these ones overburdened. We need 55,440 load limit with our current setup. Now I could make everything else lighter as well, but you know, we're not locked to that. I think maybe having a little more speed might go a long way here, considering our weapon rate. So let's start with leggies. Leggies. All right, there's some reverse joints. There's tetrapods, some tanky boys. This one has 47,820 load limit and costs 192,000. These ones look like reverse, but they're not. They are indeed just standard bipedal. Very lightweight at that though. When we do build smaller, we will lose some AP, but I'm willing to roll the dice on that. The attitude stability on these one on these reverse joints are terrible though. Okay, let's just try it. Let's get ourselves a new a new core, a nice lightweight core. What? He looks hunched over. He's like this is this is like the hunchback core, dude. Look at I mean hunch. Hunch, dude. Punch on over. All these other cores except these two are heavier. I don't have enough money for that one, so I guess we try this one. This is significantly lighter, though. We're going to be hunched over, but it's fine. It's going to be, uh, you know, we're going to need a posture check after every mission. Let's see if I can actually do this. Fine. And then leggies. Okay, how much weight do we need to cut? Also, well, we also have an energy shortfall? Shit. That's not good. That's not great. These ones are slightly lighter and do better on energy. So let's change to these since we are going um, reverse joint. We don't need as much upward thrust because they already have a lot of jumping capability as it is built into them. So let's try that. Let's try that. All those other arms are heavier. This head's a little lighter. Okay. We're so close, dude. We're right there. We're on the cusp. What 
What does this one specialize in? I guess not really a whole lot. It's just the standard one. This one is more close range. I feel like we are more close range. Let's switch to that one. And Samuel, Mr. Samurai, they were five gifted members to the community. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the big generosity. Thank you, bud. Thank you very much. No, this certainly does count out a lot of weight as well, but we're still we're still dealing with energy issues here. So I have a little bit more wiggle room with the weight now. We could go back to the basic boosters, but man, do they suck. <laughs> man, are they bad. Oh, damn. I don't want to lose either of the Gatling guns. Obviously, we got to keep the Ash Mead. That's our big damage. The headpiece is still a little bit too much on the energy. Both cores end up overburdened, but do better on energy. Shit, man. Shit, man. I think our only choice is booster. How much money do I have? 86,000? I don't know if we can buy anything with 86,000 here, but... Yo, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you for a whole year of membership. It says smile. Thanks. Yo, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the generosity. A whole year of membership as well. Thank you, dude. We're so close, dude, to making this work. We're so close. Everything is still an energy shortfall. Damn. And Calrid. Calrid, thank you for five gifted members as well, man. Big. Big. Thank you, dude. Another five gifted members. I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. Thank you very much. We might just have to get those boosters. I think that's realistically, if I want to keep this exact build, those boosters are the only way that this makes sense. Until we can find like a better generator in the future, I think that's all we have choice for. I think that's all we can do if we want to stay lightweight. So let's get these. We're down to 14,000 credits. We are a poor boy. Which ones did I just buy? Was it those ones? Yeah. I really want to use one of these, though. Specifically the Alula, man. Man, those are actually pretty good. I just need a little more energy. Really like those ones. But okay. Okay. We are a lightweight boy. We are fast. We are mobile. Let's see how it goes for us in the next sortie. Hold on. Do we have anything new in the arena? We do not. Okay. Sortie. Missions. Enjoy, enjoy, Calrid and Samurai. Thank you, for, thank you for all the memberships, guys. I appreciate it. Snakey, what's going on, dude? Eliminate the doser, the doser faction. 
Eliminate the Junker Coyotes, a Doser faction invading Grid 086. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Sign me up. Ah, my favorite little tourist. About my promise to take you up top. I need a little help cleaning up first. Her logo on the top left is cool. You see, a certain someone smashed up all my defense hardware. And now I've got rival dozers muscling in. It's the Junker Coyotes. I never did get on. Always sniffing around and snapping at our heels. <sighs> They're dull company, tourist. They are some interesting mechs, too. Look at those. One thing, though. They're using RADMTs. Hot from the black market. They might be a pack of dumb animals, but at least they know quality workmanship. Anyway, you know the score. You made this mess, now you get to clean it up. Well, technically, I'm asking you to make a whole new mess. Ah, whatever. You know what to do. Now get out there. All right. What's up, Bobo Buys? Thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Kevin, how's it going today, dude? I'm excited. We should be a lot faster. We'll be able to beat more aerial. Welcome to not a cult. It is not a cult. Let me rephrase that. Josh is not a cult yet. Although, come the revolution. <laughs> yes. Oh Let's my, yes, please. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. Oh yeah, I like this more already. Oh yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes peeled for some new parts, yeah? Moving on, yeah, we gotta explore the area first. Relax, Carla. Look, fellas, we got company. Look, fellas, company. That one of RAD's newbies. We'll blow the sky high. This one is on you for taking out Rummy. He would have kept watch at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just looking around. Rummy stepped up and got the smoke. What do you want, dude? Ow. Wamp, wamp. Just looking for some items here, dudes. Ow. You guys have a lot of missiles. You gonna run out sometime or what? Oh, this is over already? No way. It's my turn to help you. 
No way this mission's over already. Let me look around. Okay, well, job's done. Job's done. What's up, Brennan? Love your AC. It looks so much. It looks so cool. Yeah, I love the style of it already, too. What chapter am I in? Two. One new message. Is it Walter? Guess it is. you noticed that job from Balaam and decided to take it. I see you're heading for the cargo launcher now. Not a bad idea. I'll give you that. Keep heading for the ice field. I'll take care of some loose ends in the meantime. Yeah, from software did themselves outdid themselves again with this game. The backdrops are really nice to look at while I'm just blazing through everything. Yeah, this is my AC. Its name is uh what did I name the AC guys? I named it something. Um we can save it. AC data, Stabby Boy. Uh let me rename this to Stabby Boy. 2.0 because it's a little bit of a different configuration same weaponry just the uh legs core and head are different as well as the boosters also look at that waistline look at that waistline god damn stabby boy 2.0 keeping a figure ocean crossing reach the intercontinental cargo launcher found deep within the outer shell area of upper grid 086 and concludes the chapter oh we're gonna have a boss fight here dudes we're continuing through grid 086. Uh, i'm not Please sure Liv. i can give it a look after this launcher. mission as promised Carla has agreed to serve as our guide. I'm not sure how safe it is to trust a dozer. But if we turn her down, we turn her knowledge down as well. One more thing, Raven. Cinder. Carla's nickname? That's what the Rubiconians call survivors of the fires of Ibis. But if the fires happened half a century ago... Well, it could just be some dozer inside joke. Right. Alright, before we start this mission, guys... I'm gonna take a quick break. I have to pee. Thank you for 150 likes on the video. I could use your help, guys. We could use more likes. If you are enjoying the stream today, if you're enjoying the video, leave a like on it for me so that way YouTube will help us out. You know what I mean? I will be right back in just a couple moments. Don't go anywhere. We back. Let's start the Ocean Crossing final mission of Chapter 2. Welcome, Hawkwind. How's it going today? 
dual chain gun. I prefer dual SMGs, but I think we'll give this a shot. They are pretty heavy, but the damage they put out, man, is immense. Main system. Activating combat mode. Okay. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. Yeah, the only thing I owe you is not killing you, okay? You helped us out thus far? That's the only favor I'm doing, huh? Scanning show hidden parts, it might. Everything. I'm not quite sure. A few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge. I've been playing this for almost 12 hours straight, so fun to play Armored Core again. I know, yes, dude, isn't it amazing? And it's not like some half-assed, you know, um, re-entry to the franchise. It's actually a worthwhile game. Sending you new data. This is all said. At this altitude, we're within firing range of the PCA satellites. Oh, God. Hey, anyone notice how the skies are still on fire or? Oh, my Christ. Was not very uh, nice at the game. That must be the PCA security system. Oh yeah, you think? I lived, but uh, it's not great out here. little resupply action that can't be good now you can just step inside wait enemy detected yeah who'd have thought sea spider
close on the first try. So close. Hey, not bad for a first attempt, huh, guys? Not bad, bud. Now, if you just step I think it might be worth trying to open up with a big uh, pile bunker attack, actually. There is. Overheated, that's not good. I gotta watch that better. Get out of there. again what's up rfi yeah i've got a weapon swap to the pile bunker i i've always been partial to pile bunkers ever since their introduction to armored core as a franchise so i i've just been using it i love it so much i am a pile bunker enjoyer What's up, damn squib? Guys, we're almost at 200 likes on the video. If you haven't left a like yet, it would mean a lot if you would. I really appreciate it, guys. Oh, God, not a good time for a stun.
I still had my terminal armor too. What a finish, dude. The pile bunker. Yeah, I only found one of them, Jeff. I did explore a fair bit, but I obviously could have explored a lot more. Brace yourself. Is there a multiplayer feature like Dark Souls and Elden Ring for PvP? Yes, I don't think there's a co-op component. By the way, tourist. Not that I remember seeing anyway. Your Walter's helped, right? Dog can't choose its master. But still, tough luck. I feel sorry for you. I really do. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do after this, Talon. You know the cargo launcher strictly for cargo, right? Nah, just launch me, man. No one's ever used it to launch themselves before. At least not in one piece. It's fine, I'm ready. Someone has to innovate. Do it! Hope your luck changes. <laughs> yes, dude. Walter was correct in his judgment. The coral, it's here in this desolate place. Ah, uh, yes, we made it across the ocean by launching ourselves as if we were nothing but cargo. Very good. As one does, right, after all? Richard, hope you're doing well. What's up, Bren? Welcome. Achievement! Augmented human, C4621, entering standard mode. Ooh, we're gonna get more arena fights Two too, I believe. new messages. You are Looks cargo. Like you've made it to Central Ice Field 621. Good. Thanks, Cactuar. Archibus found their own way in and are ready to deploy survey squads. And it looks like Balaam's come running after you scoped out the place, too. You know what's going to happen. Business as usual. But you can make it work for us. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. D rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. These correspond to the middle ranks. We invite you to further hone your technique. Mm, mm, okay. All right, before we do that. Raven. Oh, another message. Hold on. I was looking into the arena, and I discovered something you might want to know about. It's a network service that was labeled Nest, with no obvious clues about its purpose. From what I can tell, it's a special mercenary support program, encrypted and kept secret. I've installed a back door, so you'll have no trouble getting in as you please. All right. 
All right. New parts available. Hell yeah. Let's see what this nest is about. Battle against other players in 1v1 or 3v3 online matches from the nest menu. Yes, very good. There it is. There's PvP, folks. Apparently you unlock PvP after you get through Chapter 2. There it is. Let's see who's in the arena. We've got five contenders. Wu Huai. Wu Huahai. I hope I pronounced that properly. Ring Freddy. Hawkins. Hey, there's Iguazu. And then Roku Monson. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. First things first, though, let's check out the parts shop. What new stuff do we have here? The Sweet 16 shotgun. The Zimmerman shotgun. Another bazooka. Stun bomb launcher. Okay. Okay. Any new swords for the left arm? Different pulse gun. A stun baton. That's what that is. Repeated attacks induce a forced electrical discharge effect on afflicted craft charged to expose the core rod of the baton and attack with a brutal electrified thrust. Ooh. Electrified thrusting. Sign me up. More missile launchers, active homing missiles, plasma missiles. Okay. Another pulse shield, another pulse buckler. Okay. Some new head parts. Some new cores. We got all sorts of goodies, man. All sorts of good. Oh, there's spring chicken. Look at that. Those are a heavier version of bipedal, bipedal stuff. When I um, when I usually play armored core, I often go towards heavier reverse joints, legs. So those might end up being a thing I take. The spring chicken. New boosters, okay. A new generator. Oh, that certainly does up our energy load a lot. Yo, Bren, thank you for the gifted membership to iMac. I appreciate it, dude. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. The weight on that, though. All right, I'm going to keep my current build. I am going to try out uh, a PvP match, guys. I'm going to try one out. I may die, and that's fine. Just, just search, dude. Um, capacity. Two players. I just want a 1v1. Create room. Single. Time limit. Three minutes. Five minutes. Um, arena. Grid 086. Open access. Create. Someone join. And let's fight to the death. Let's fight to the death. As long as you ain't one-shotted. I'm I'm counting on being just absolutely destroyed by someone that's already beaten the entire game and has all the parts. I just want to see how it performs. From software, online stuff in general has never been known to be very strong, so... We'll see how this goes. Slick JD. Their AC name is Guava.
I don't plan on winning this, but we'll see how it goes. Something that I definitely need is a better generator and a better booster. So it might be better to go with the heavier reverse joints just for that. Allow us to be a little bit more beefy as well. Is the chat bugged? No, it's working fine for me. Oh my god, he's a thick boy. With that winter camo vibe. it again not great no <laughs> i actually almost got him i think it would have killed him if I was a little bit closer there. <laughs> All right, we go again. Guys kicking my ass this round. Oh yeah. I hit him with the big hit, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Man, even though he's much heavier and tanky, I almost got him. Sure this guy's saying stand still damn it yeah probably <laughs> okay not bad the big thing that got me there was just the constant missiles we'll do one more but people already know meta builds in pvp oh yeah for sure it's just how it is with anything online really the game has been playable for about 48 hours now, so... Yeah. But uh, it seems like the online connectivity for this is not bad. I didn't feel like there was any latency there. I just kind of wish they could do that with uh, things like Elden Ring, too. What you got going on, buddy? Oh, quadruped. Oh, he's got the pile bunker Gatling combo, too. Okay. All right.
They have missed. No way. I'm sad. Oh my god, I missed again! <laughs> I missed again, dude. I had two opportunities to hit that. What's up, Fern? How's it going? I get a little hyped up whenever I get that stun, so I end up like overshooting it because of the launch. Oh shit, oh shit. Nailed it. Damn, he wins. Oh, I almost got it, dude. <laughs> I almost turned it. All right, GG. Maybe try sword instead. Nah, I just don't find swords as fun as pile bunkers. It's not a matter of win or loss. It's just the fun experience for me. I'm not the type to just kind of like go after whatever helps to win. I just like to use what I use and have a good time with it. Yeah, I probably would have, oh, not what I wanted to do. I probably would have beaten the game already as well, but I've been spending a lot of time. I got early access to Starfield. So I've been, you know, making videos on that like crazy. Anyway, missions. Let's replay the mission earlier. Was it this one? No, that was not it. This one. Yeah, everything's all right, Fern. Everything's all right. When will you flood us with Starfield? On the 31st at noon. That's when the embargo lifts. Shark, hope you're having a good night, dude. Ever seen gameplay for this game? What is going on? This is another From Software game, Hefna. It's called Armored Core. It's an older franchise from them, and they just brought a game back into it. Starfield worth the hype? I can't say anything on it whatsoever. I am under an NDA, so... I cannot say a single thing other than I have been playing it. That's it. And I like the, the idea of being able to do stuff like this in the future, so I'm not going to break that NDA, you know?
do 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 Okay. Now let's look around out here. I think we killed all the enemies. Does anyone know if the scan will also spot these things? Generally speaking, you can kind of see things stick out in a certain way. That'll be something you'd pick up. I don't know if the scan will pick them up as well. Bring with my raw ally to make it work on the uh, on the big screen, but working now, nice dude. Glad he got it working. Oof. All right, seems like there's nothing out here, so let's carry on. Oh, hey, Rummy. Hey, bud. Brother, will you kind of relax? Can't be beat as he is beaten down. They pop up like enemies? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Come on in and let's get I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure how like imaginative they'll get with hiding this stuff, but you know, we'll have a gander. I did this mission. I know I'm replaying it intentionally to try to find hidden items. Swing, brother. Running very low on ammo. How many endings? I uh, don't know. 
do not know. Something shooting at me. I just hear like this constant splash of something in the background. Sounds like someone's just firing a rifle at me from somewhere. When you get more ammo, you can get to a certain point in a mission if the mission's long enough to where it'll give you a resupply. Where the heck? Nothing, huh? Hold up. Come here. Bunker is infinite. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. You found me. There's so many Koroks in Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, that they overflowed into other games. Yeah, this, uh, this level is pretty expansive, so. I think I only found one. And apparently there's four on this level. Nuts. <laughs> Matter if someone tries to no hit this game. Uh I mean I'm sure there's gonna be people that try, but I think. Just based on the idea that there's like machine guns and stuff, I don't know if that's gonna be possible. Cause just the nature of what it is. I can see like an all melee playthrough happening. Definitely see that, but. Where are all my items? Where the hell are they? Put the items in the bag. Where from? I was thinking I can get all the way out on there, but I guess not. Uh oh. Not great. I missed. I missed again. 
Not ideal. There it is. See more enemies over there. to preserve my ammo. I feel like out here would be a perfect place for an item, but there's going to be a wall right here. I can see it already. Yep. I'm not finding anything. We go Chuck uh, back this way, I guess. Can I go up? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> We certainly are up here, and I certainly do see a whole lot of nothing. Hmm. How do you rate this game out of 10? For me, this game's a 10 out of 10, but that, that also comes in uh, with a lot of large bias. I have always been a very big fan of Armored Core, so... items in here either. And I see you guys over there. That's uh, a thing. I guess we just kind of carry on. How did that miss? I am sad. I am depressed. I have 87 rounds of my chain gun ammo left. That was terrible. I made a terrible mistake. There's one. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. It just gave me H3000 Wrecker again. So it must be a set all under Wrecker. Probably going to be legs, arms, core, and head. We've already got the legs. go up any further. Now I'm gonna die. I'm very dead. 
dead. One hit points. One hit points. is all you need. Ah, look at that. There's one down below. There's one down below me there. Unless that was the same one I just found. Very well might be. No, the other one I found is right over here. So that's a new one. Okay. Just got to figure out how to get to it. Now, one HP in a damn dream, dude. How you doing, Nimrod? Where the hell is it? Right down here? Yeah. I can see it. How do I get to you, sir? It's not, I think it might be accessible from the outside. I don't know if I can get through there through this, though. Maybe through that way? Am I going to take damage from this, though? Unless we squeeze under? Oh, yeah, we squeezing. Shit. I have one. I have one ammo. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Unless. Unless. We get real, real tactical with this. I see the item. Why is he on the ceiling down there? Come on, man, get down. I can't do anything with this information. Look at this guy. You know, this is a great representation of like old Facebook where someone comes out of nowhere and pokes you. You guys remember that shit? How annoying was that? Someone just comes out of nowhere and just pokes you and you're like, what the hell, dude? What is this functionality? Why does it exist? It's so dumb. No, 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 no. <laughs> Poke your grandma, Stan. I remember that episode. If I stand here long enough and don't move... Wait, where'd the third one come from? What the shit? I only saw two before. They're all on to me.
Guys, stop locking onto me. Stop it. Is this Assassin's Creed? Yup. Yes, he's only going to take one bullet from that thing to kill me. So I think I might just have to suck up the death. I'm so screwed. We're going deep. See, now they've got staggered machine guns, which is a problem. Why do I? Why is there a third one again? What? What the hell happened here? Why is there a third one again? Why do they keep coming back? up again I'm trying to like hit it too early <laughs> it might be faster to just die oh okay you see it just kind of looked at me It just kind of looked at me at the right in the right way, and I just kind of exploded. It's the principal, yeah. At that point, it becomes the principal. You son of a bitch. Stability with this build is essentially non existent. It's really great. We don't have to go around wasting a bunch of ammo on like hidden things, so we're just good to go. Come on. Guys, thank you for 225 likes on the video. I appreciate it. It means a lot to have the supports. I gotta collect this again. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Hello.
Okay, this is weird. <laughs> the game doesn't even let you target them properly until you shoot them once. All right, CC 3000 Wrecker. I was going to be one more hidden item on this level. We've got three out of four. out of bounds but we can get all the way up here you know how many hidden items there are it was revealed to me earlier about the keyboard yeah Need to go back and explore more too. Uh, Jeff Bezos, please just let me search around, bud. I know you're trying to be helpful, but. All right, dead end here. down through there there's nothing above we can go back in here I remember playing the older armored core games they would have some really interesting hiding places for some of these parts, too. Again, like I mentioned last night, remember one of them, you could find the Parasawa hidden behind a bunch of, like, uh, they were, like, cargo crates or something in this tiny little, like, cubby in the wall elevated somewhere. That's how I'm picturing it in my mind. So I'm just trying to, like... Imagine, like, anything at all that could, you know, have something hidden. There's a ladder. Can I climb it? Can't go inside there. I'm also thinking that the, the scan range like is kind of deceptive and how helpful it actually is too. inside this thing no camera got a little strange there
Is that an AC in there? Dude, there's an AC in there. Oh my God. Video record, the collector's last words. Wait, let's not do anything hasty. I'm no one, okay? Just a lowly debt collector. I didn't know this was your turf, I swear. The guy I'm after, he's a tricky one. He'd be hiding anywhere in the grid by now. Wait, no, please, you don't have to kill me. Let's check this one opposite. <laughs> Just kind of caught that AC out of the corner of my eye. Oh, shit, man. Shit, man. Okay. an item I've got you now. oh no sark hey dude i remember you Hiding over here, dude. AC 3000 Wrecker. What are you doing hiding over here? Huh? Weirdo. All right, we already got the leg parts as well. That was the first one we found. I want to say it was closer to the end of the level and the chests. It was actually the very first item I found at all in this game. It was the first time, like this is the first level I actually wanted to like explore around. Yesterday was all about just getting into the action. Today, I wanted to explore more of the stuff. I think that's uh, a little bit of everything. I do believe in order for this all to count, we do have to finish the level. did lose my loot on death last time, so that mother I forgot that happened. Thing lasted longer than Nosark did. Major point. I surrender. It's just not worth the losses. Come on, I'll let you through. Up along now. Let's see what she has up her sleeve. Shall we, Raven? Alright, we're gonna have a restock up here. I didn't find this boss to be too bad. Especially now that we have more flying capabilities, we should be all right. All right, let me catch up on chat. I know a lot of people are trying to backseat, so I just wasn't looking at chat for a moment. Empty pipe. Yeah. How many subs the channel have? 45,200. This new game? Yeah, new game. I 
Yeah, Cactuar, exactly. I lost loot on death, so. Damn. Again, I misplayed that in a big way. Again. Anyone know where I can buy this, um, this vacuum? I would love this vacuum in my house. <laughs> and can I find it on Amazon.com? How hard is the game? It definitely has some difficulty to it. Definitely, definitely a little bit of difficulty. Okay, and we got all those items. Yep, we got the headpiece, the core, and then the arms. Yeah, we've already got the legs from earlier, so that's good to go. That's nice. Oh, we got a detonating bazooka, Javelin Alpha. Neat. Neat. Can I ask a strange request? Sure, what's up? How much money do I have? About 700,000? Might make a bit of a couple changes here, guys. I kind of want to get the spring chicken legs. They're a little bit heavier. Allows us to kind of be tankier. That costs 419,000. That's pretty pricey, but we're going to take it. And then... Was it this one? No, that's the big boy right there. That's the big boy generator. Yep, okay. Um, let's try this generator. Much more comfortable energy output. Need a good look at the boosters. Game's early, so there aren't many good pictures out there. Boosters. Um, I can't turn the stuff off here, unfortunately. Is there a way? Uh, view mode. How's that? Can ammunition cost be higher than pay? I know it was possible in previous Armored Core games, so I have no reason to believe why that would not be possible here as well. Generator. 
We also have the Ming Tang, too. But this one has a bit of post-recovery energy supply. Energy firearm spec is higher on this, too. I don't know if I need that. I'm not using uh, energy weapons right now. Oh, well. We'll just go with that one. Need to put a medium range FCS on. There we go. So <laughs> this uh, close range one is not ideal for this build. Considering the chain guns, or Gatling guns, rather. Did I put on the spring chicken legs? Spring chicken. Look at that. Look at that. Spring chicken legs. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I really hate the shape of Wrecker, but that might be the best play right now. Gives us a good amount of tankiness. Yeah, we are a little bit more free now, guys. I, I'm not happy with the upper body at all yet, but, you know, we'll get there. Let me also uh, go to the arena now. Let's go beat up some dudes in the arena. Let's -a go. What's up, Pendrax? Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 22, entering rank D. Subject AC. Lee Long, call sign, gun three, Wu Hua Hai. I did say it right earlier, Hua Hai, nice. Commencing yeah, no problem, Liv. Main system, activating combat mode. Holy splodes. to do it all. <laughs> Whew, saved. That was almost bad, but saved. Concluding evaluation. Well done. What's up, Josh? How you doing, man? Spring chicken is a reverse joint, but it seems slow, though. It's not a matter of the speed as much as it is just being able to launch yourself off the ground. It uh, the, the idea is it lessens the overall energy cost of getting yourself in the air, and then you have a good set of boosters that allow you to stay in the air for a good long while. It's very similar to quadruped, but with a little bit more bounciness, mobility. That's the purpose here. Ring Freddy. A warrior of the Rubicon Liberation Front, paramour and personal attendant to Dalmayan, Freddy maintains an aloof distance from his fellow comrades. An admirer of the inner world of Dalmayan's mind, he entered the battlefield so that the father of the Liberation Front would never need be alone. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 21, rank D. 
He's got the hand missile launchers and then some uh, big Subject cannons Casey. on the back. Candle ring. Call sign, Rick Freddy. Commencing evaluation. All right, that AC is ugly as shit. I don't care what anyone says. That thing is hideous. Again, I am just so bad right now. Oh boy. Yep, not great. <laughs> not great. We ate rockets, we ate missiles. Yikes. Yikes, dude. So trying to maintain um, air supremacy on this guy didn't work so well. Because he was able to just kind of slide under most of the shots. Let's try a more direct approach, shall we? Yep. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. All right. Yeah, no doubt, Nasroth, that can do very well. Okay. We got all that. Next one is Hawkins. Fifth squad leader of the Vespers, the Archibus Group's augmented human squad. Like Swinburne, Hawkins is a member of Gen 7 and has lost a great many colleagues and subordinates to the progress of science and revolutionizing the surgery. However, he has reached a certain peace with their sacrifices, knowing that his generation of surgery is far safer than those of the past. Free of the loss of humanity inflicted on the coral technology generations or the grisly accidents of the interim generations. Thoughts so far? Love it, dude. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 20, rank D. Love it, love it, love it. Subject AC, reconfig. Call sign V5 Hawkins. All right, laser rifle, laser sword. Commencing evaluation. Didn't get a good look at what's on the back. Looks like maybe a laser cannon. And a pulse shield, maybe? just as he was about to stagger. Yes, Jeff, 
I'm aware, man. It's just the best generator that I have for the situation here. How's the music? The mu music is decent, dude. It is decent. I feel like they, uh, they went out of their way to make this game as good as it possibly can be with the time they had allotted. Uh, but... It's, I, I feel like this game is not going to have the same appeal as Elden Ring for a lot of people because it's not like the same format of gameplay, if that makes sense. All right, what can we get here? Let's get us a, uh, a boost kick. get a little more damage on our melee weapon shall we all right iguazu gun five of the red guns the ba balam balam groups ac squad a backstreet gambler iguazu bet big and lost and he was forced to undergo experimental fourth generation augmentation surgery to pay back his debtors in his new life he quickly began to quarrel with volta he his often times partner in crime iguazu's Recalcitrant? I don't think I've ever seen that word before in my life. Recalcitrant nature was such that one day he even picked a fight with the hero of Jupiter, who retaliated with such fury that Iguazu never quite looked the same afterward. Recalcitrant. We're learning new words, chat. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 19. Subject is I might Yorkshire. Yeah. Call sign Gun Five Iguazu. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. Tell me how I just landed the drop kick of a lifetime on that guy. <laughs> Absolutely handed it to that dude because of the, the freaking kick, dude. <laughs> that was sick. That was fun. Which boss is Juggernaut? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember which one uh, Juggernaut is. Uh, OS Tuning. Oh, we need one more for the melee damage. Okay. Raku Munson. A wandering independent merc who shelters with the Rubicon Liberation Front. Well versed in long lost classical theater, he has particular interest in ninjas and kabuki, relics of the past that he learned of from the Japanese immigrant culture which now heavily influences his eccentric style. Once with Raku Monson, when Raku Monson was on the brink of starvation, he was rescued by Ziyi, who offered him food and shelter, and ever since that day he has been been the sworn enemy of those who would do her and her comrades harm. Um, whoops, I guess he doesn't like me then. Oh, the one you fight with uh, Rusty, Wall Climber? Gotcha. Program number 18, rank D, final evaluation. The big thing is just kind of waiting for your attacks until he rushes Subject at you, dodge out of the Shelby. way, 
and then he's gonna launch a couple attacks at you in that time he'll slow down and you get behind him and damage his boosters a lot Shots during those moments, man. This concludes D rank evaluation. Well done. So yeah, that boss can be a little bit frightening and definitely troublesome, but once you learn the pattern of like how to get behind it during the second phase when Rusty leaves, you kind of are able to get on the other side of it. All right. That was a very interesting melee weapon. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank D. We hope that our aid has helped push you to achieve greater things. What's up, Eric? How you doing? All Might exists for all mercenaries. That certainly sounded like an advertisement, didn't it? All Might exists for all mercenaries. Yeah, all right, dude. Okay, 15% extra melee weapon damage. Good. Good. All right, missions. Steal the survey data. Attack the Archibist survey camp and seize the corporation's observation data. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Oh, before we do that, though, let's see if we can get something else on my uh, other arm. What would I want to put on my other arm? It's my right arm, right? Yeah, right arm. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to do a shotgun. <laughs> Certainly does smack him with that. Oh my god, that thing is sick. Too bad I can't put it on the other arm. I would absolutely put that on my left arm if I could. Or I'm sorry, my uh, right arm rather. Sorry, words. There's Curtis. Really a lot of type of uh, missile launchers, huh? That pushes me a little bit over the energy load, unfortunately. What do we have that can go on the right? <laughs> it's too bad I can't put another Gatling. <laughs> Just have a backup Gatling, dude. That'd be sick. Pulse might not be bad. I think I'm going to go with a shotgun, though. It's too bad I'm just missing the load for this, too. Yep, I'm going to go get a shotgun. That's what I want. Heart shop by... 
right arm units. All right, we've got the Haldman. 66 rounds, 576 damage. This is 953 rounds. This one's a special shotgun, 85 times 13 with 546 rounds. So it shoots 13 at a time. Let's go with the Zimmerman. The old Zimmer dude. Right there. There we go. Let's go. Missions, steel survey data. Got a job for you, 621. It's a request from one of the Balaam companies. Attention, Gun 13 Raven. This job comes from our subsidiary, Dafa. The operation will take place in the central ice fields, Yalmar Mine. We want you to stage an attack on the Archibus survey camp located there. After digging into the ice field, Archibus launched survey drones to gather data. Whatever they found is sure to contain clues as to the whereabouts of the Coral Convergence. Put simply, your job is to seize the data. Seize the day. You, gun 13. Ta. Is it all about 1v1s? No, we're going on a mission right now, dude. I was just doing arena stuff. Six, two, one. What's the premise to this? Race You're a mercenary with a mech. You go around Tell fighting other mechs in the job. arena to increase your reputation, as well as you go on missions as you're hired by different corporations to do their bidding. And it tells a story along the way. Guys, do me a massive favor if you haven't yet. Leave a like on the video for me, yeah? Leave a like if you haven't yet. Would mean a lot. Let's try to get this north of 300. Do, 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 do. All right, e boop, we got him. No major change in values compared to readings recorded in the Bellius region, likely to be cinders from the fires of Ibis. Inert coral readings make up 80% of the total. Analysis underway of the remaining 20%. Remnants of the fire still Nice dodge, dude. I didn't mean to fall, but here we are. You would think they would know better than to try to send helicopters that are smaller than the bullets that you fire out of your gun. up my controls real bad there. Makes 
excuse you? Hold up. Beep boop. Most of the installations appear to have been built by the Planetary Closure Administration after the fires of Ibis. They must have made redundant must have been made redundant by the subsequent completion of the closure system. That said, with a bit of elbow grease, we might be able to repurpose these old ruins. Even the Rubiconians have forsaken this lifeless place. Alright, I'm curious if there's going to be hidden parts on this level as well. I have to imagine there will be not every level having them, but... What was that big ding? Okay, we're taking fall damage. Maybe? Maybe? Okay, yeah. Rip. Okay. AP at 50%. I messed that up. Two repair kits remaining. Cannot dash midair. I didn't have the energy. You can see my energy meter down at the bottom middle of the screen. When it goes red. You'll see that uh, it's in danger, and then when it runs out, you have to let it recharge. When it's flashing red like that, you have to wait to be able to do things again. Sonar's picking up something strange. Whatever it is, you can't miss it. Some kind of massive cave, perhaps? How could there be a cavity underneath this vast sheet of ice? Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Guys, look. It's a little dump truck. How cute. patches in this game. I haven't seen him yet. He does originate from Armored Core, though, so I kind of expect him to show up somewhere at some point. Watch him be ranked number one in the arena or some shit. I don't think there's anything around this big hole in the earth, so there's a lot of that going on for us. Shotgun just did that guy dirty, holy.
right, so I think that's the final one. We're going to hold off on that to explore the area first. Finding any items here at this time. All right, let's get out of here. This should be the last one. How goes Armored Souls? People keep saying that, but nothing about this is a Souls like. I don't know why people thought it would be. It's so strange. Our video data of the ocean region <laughs> ocean. I sounded like I was from Minnesota for a moment there. Our video data of the ocean region has a noticeable gap. Stranger still, this hole in our records remains regardless of how many drones we send. What's going on here? Some kind of camera interference? Who knows what's out there? This device. I almost said it's their mom's vagina, me. but I didn't want to be rude. What are you doing here? The little guy needed that, but he got it. Don't get hit by the windmill. Uh, maybe we shouldn't worry about the windmills and maybe the rockets coming at us. Maybe. Oh my god. Oh no, he just got launched, dude. That's what I was afraid of for myself, brother. <laughs> no repair kits remaining. He just got yeeted into the sky. Very noisy game, holy. What do you expect out of uh, Giants mechs? Do you, do you expect them to be quiet, Timmy? Do you think metal on metal is a quiet experience for everyone involved? <laughs> oh, I wanted to drop kick him. Let me drop kick him, please. Fajita time? Yo, let me get a bite. Yeah, looks like there's another big MT in there. Uh, doesn't really look like we get a resupply though, does it? So maybe it's not anything major? Oh, the resupply is right in front of me. I, th I thought that was door control. Then I was like, wait, why would there be a door control with a wall we can jump over? Guys, we are 25 likes away from 300. Do we have any likers in the chat? 25 of them, perhaps? That'd be pretty tight. Oh, my pain. What do you mean, what's 
that sound. Oh my god. God, that guy's annoying. Is that everyone besides the uh, the shield guy? Okay. Come here, dude. Oh God. I saw that flash. I used the wall for cover. Are you shooting from? Is it that damn ship out there? I think it is. I think it's cool. They've deployed drones. Intercept 621. the bridge 621. I don't see myself surviving this. Overheated, not great. No! Oh, so close. So close, dude. From software should get the Gundam license. See, on most fronts, I would generally agree, but right now I'm going to say I don't think that would be a good play because then it would cause them to be conflicting against their own franchise, which I don't think would be great. I, I, I like I like Armored Core a lot, and I want to see them make more Armored Core rather than Gundam. I would love to see, you know. Gundam stuff, you know, in a better life. I don't know if I want to see From Software do that when I would rather see them make more Armored Core stuff.
it is. Yeah, get good, kid. What's up, Parks? Stay out of the way of these laser beams. Yeah, I would love to see some, like, good Gundam stuff, but... Yeah, I don't know if uh, FromSoft should be uh, the ones to do that. Overheated, not great. We are dodging, smashing that, shotgunning that. I missed completely. Yikers. Sexy explosions. The area is SG's jurisdiction. Why send an enforcement squad in a warship? Special mission, maybe. Or was it? Wait. Over there. Oh my god. We took down one of those things and no almost died again, so I don't know about all of that. I don't know about all of that. Not the place for the conversation like that, Brass Monkey. Keep that out of chat, please. Thank you for 300 likes on the video, guys. I appreciate it. Hey, Raven. It's me, Rusty. Your old buddy from the Vespers. Hey, Rusty. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. Uh, I'd love to catch up, but I'll cut to the chase. The PCA has deployed its suppression fleet. And now it's laying down the law all over Rubicon. We've already lost several survey bases, and Balaam's in a sorry state too. For their part, the Rubicon Liberation Front sees this as... An opportunity. Now, if you ask me, they're counting their eggs before they're hatched. At this rate, the corpse, the Rubiconists, and the independent mercs will go down together. I'm sending you a request from the Archibus group. We could use the wall climbers' help. That certainly uh, paints the scale of all of those guys, huh? ACs are kind of small in the grand scheme of things here. I see you got a call from V4. I've been contacted as well by the Balaam group. Seems both sides have been forced to halt the Coral Survey. Check the briefing, 621.
Raven, I've picked up a good job for you too. I know you've established yourself as one of the Corporation's preferred mercenaries. But I was hoping you might learn more about the people who live on Rubicon. You <laughs> just hijack one of those cruisers, right, Harrison? With those lasers on the front, surely you could take down a few other ships with one quick sweep, right? Surely. Surely. Okay, uh, what's next here? Attack the refueling base. Eliminate seven. Oh. Immediate mission failure if identified by surveillance MTs equipped with capture cameras. Oh, we got to do in like a straight up assassination style. Shit, okay. And then tunnel sabotage. All right, we're just going to do them in order. Let's go ahead and get this one going. Hey, buddy. This job comes from Schneider of the Archibus Group. Here's the rundown. They want you to attack the Jorgen refueling base, a PCA foothold on Rubicon. The target is the energy refinery plant deep inside. Take that out and... Well, it ought to slow down their suppression fleet, at least. Until recently, Jorgen was one of Balaam's coral survey bases. It only took a day for the PCA suppression fleet to commandeer the base. You'll also find a number of fuel storage tanks that I've marked as pay targets. I want you to be a walking advertisement for opportunities in destruction. Okay. All right. Attack the refueling base seized by the Planetary Closure Administration. Destroy the energy plant within. Extra rewards based on number of enemies slash fuel storage tanks destroyed. We just, gonna get, we just get to go in there and just put up pure carnage. I like it. I like it. Before I do that, though, guys... I'm going to take a really quick break. I've got to pee and I'm going to grab some water because I'm all out. When I come back, we're going to blow up this refueling base. Sounds fun. What are your impressions thus far? Overhyped? Just right or what? For me, it's it's just right. I'm giving this game a personal 10 out of 10. And I will admit there is a lot of personal bias in that. But I think even without my personal bias, I would still give it a 9 out of 10. I just am such a massive fan of Armored Core as a franchise that I'm just really excited that the game is as good as it is and that we actually have a new armored core game to play so for me it's a personal 10 out of 10 yeah anyways i'll be right back
All right, gamers. We are back. Let's go ahead and blow up some refueling based stuff, yeah? Let's go. A walking advertisement. You're not their mascot, 621. Just focus on getting the job done. Your pile bunker vid just dropped. <laughs> no, I put that out um, at noon, which was seven hours ago. I think people are just getting notified of it now. Which, by the way, guys, um, I know I've said this before, but keep in mind that I do more than just stream here on YouTube. I do have videos, and I will be making more and more videos on more games as you know time goes on. Do keep that in mind. I would much love to have your attention on my videos as well. under a time limit oh man we might have some hidden stuff here guys kind of hoping we do i um i i don't know man i love exploring in games as you guys know and having more to explore in this game would be sick too so we're gonna look around we're doing well kids soon how are you also, guys, I can tell you that I'm going to have, I'm going to say at least four videos on August 31st covering Starfield. At least four videos going out at noon Eastern time on Thursday for Starfield. So keep your eyes and ears ready for that as well. Especially because this uh, this game is a pretty big deal. Um, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the game itself, but I'm talking about my channel, right? I've never had an opportunity like this before to cover a game before its actual release. So, real talk Don't moment, lie. having your attention on those videos is going to be a very, very large deal for me. So, it would mean so much to have your guys' eyeballs on those when they release. Damn it. That sucks. But yeah, Bethesda gave me early access to Starfield. I can't say anything on the game yet, but on Thursday, you'll have a lot for me to talk about. It's so hard to actually like tag them when they're in the air. That dome's your refinery plant. I've updated your marker data. Head for the target. Good couple of months for us gamers. There's this Baldur's Gate 3 and soon Starfield. I know it's uh, it's a lot, dude. It's a lot for sure. I gotta check back here, see if there's anything hidden. Yeah, man, gotta get them creds, brothers. Look at this building. Almost as large as this building. That's crazy. Yeah, Blasphemous 2 just dropped as well. That's true. I haven't even played the first Blasphemous yet. I've seen it played and I want to play it. I just haven't had the time to do so. Hey, 
nothing over here it seems so many games so little time yeah it's crazy guys like i don't know you got you i don't know if you guys recall like growing up like okay so i'm 35 right i'm 35 years old i lived in the era of you know renting videos and video games right whoa game just really freaked out there so you know we would go to like video king and blockbuster hollywood videos stuff like that and we would rent you know all sorts of games it was actually possible to get through almost their entire library of games if you went and rented something for like they, they would have like friday deals you get like a weekend rental for three bucks so me and my friends would do that basically every week we would just go rent games play through them beat them and then return them by you know monday morning on the way to school and we would we just that's just kind of how we lived our lives for years and we would get through like their entire libraries and keep up with games that way i feel like even if the rental system still existed today it would be impossible to do that let's just say for example the rental system still existed and i'm sure in some areas it does still exist but still existed in a format where you could rent you know two three games a weekend and play through them right or at least play them a little bit of the way through i don't think in the modern era you'd be able to keep up with all the games that come out we're talking triple a double a and indie across the board of course but i just think there's far too many games now to actually be able to keep up with no matter how much time you have and that's a that's a good good problem to have right that, that's a that's crazy that's a really good problem to have Get on the other side of them quickly. Oh, I'm in danger. No repair kits remaining. That missed. That sucks for me. Look at him. Okay, so I played that very poorly. the wrong weapon out. Name 10 indie games that are fantastic. All too easy. Holy helicopters. Overheated, not great. Microsoft with Game Pass, that's about the closest thing now in my eyes. As far as like a rental program, yeah, that's probably about the closest you'll get to that nowadays. For most of the world, anyway. I know they're, uh, what is it, Bend Oregon? Yeah, someone just mentioned Bend Oregon that has a, uh, what is it, a blockbuster still? But I feel like that's only kept afloat by nostalgia. Not finding any uh, any items, guys. Sedge, big sedge. Kept renting with Redbox till I stopped. I did for a long time, yeah. There was a grocery store back in New York that I would uh, go to, and they had a Redbox outside of the front door that me and my wife would use on the regular, just because it was there. There's still a lot of stuff over there we could check out, I guess. Oh, 
five, target confirmed. Locked on. Evasive action remaining. Locked on from where? Okay. Couple more uh, MTs over there, looks like. Thanks, Storm. Most definitely just drop kicked a robot to death. Feels good, man. Those lasers hurt so much. All right, we got 3,200 health left. About 500 rounds of chain gun. And a resupply right here, it looks like. Okay, well, hold on. Anything hidden up here? It appears not. Minecraft started. Minecraft stall, it's still indie. I mean, it's owned by Microsoft now, so it definitely is not indie now, but it started that way, sure. Did I not see an MT right here? Sorry, I didn't want to pass those up. It's great, eight ball. Loving it, dude. catch up on chat real quick in terms of consistent quality the indie scene def has it oh yeah yeah there's a lot of great great indie games out there what's up jay lee I feel like game pass is the new rental type with the games they put on it kind of try for a bit yeah yeah it's definitely a great uh a great thing for that like idea that format for sure Damn it, dude, I missed.
really is nothing hidden out here at all in this level. Nothing? Nothing? What's up, boy? Hey, Rory. How's it going, guys? Josh needs his loot. They're camping in the woods? Nice, man. I used to go camping a lot when I was younger. Oftentimes it was fun. I broke something. There's no way that's there's not more. In the stratosphere? Go to three, attending scene. Watch point report checked out. Oh. Call sign Raven. Priority subject for termination. High on the list. All right, you got a hit squad after us, apparently. PCASP, special forces. Special forces? To what do I owe the pleasure? Now, where'd the other one just go to? There you are. Ow. Oh my damages. Okay, there's one. Better. They got their walking advertisement all right. Where's my health bar? You'll see it on the bottom left of the screen. Okay. We got a lot of uh, bonus pay. The bonus pay was better than the base pay. Look at that. And we still almost lost 200k anyway. So we almost lost the base pay, but <laughs> we still got almost 400,000 out of it. So that's cool. One new message. Archivist Group Mercenary Liaison, V8 Pater here. Impressive work on the refueling base assault. V4 has left me a message addressed to you, if I may. <clears throat> I knew you could do it, buddy. I've got my eye on you. Uh, that is all. We at the Archivist Group expect much from you. Okay. That sounds ominous, yeah? Look at that, 750,000. Is there any new uh, cool parts in the store that I missed? I don't think so. Do 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 do.
Damn, I could throw on a grenade cannon, guys. Okay, where was that, uh, that plasma? Or not the plasma, but there was like a... I can't remember what it was, but like napalm launcher. Yeah, right there. Maybe I try the napalm launcher, guys. Can I put it on the other hand, though? I can. Okay. It's the right back unit, right? Okay, hold on. Look at my AC design. The shotgun is on the right side, so we need to buy it for the right side. We gotta go to the store. What am I doing with my life? The napalm launcher, I feel like, could do a massive amount of damage if we do it right. Which means we're only relying more on actually getting these stuns, but... Let's try her out. Who doesn't like the idea of setting an AC or, you know, MT on fire, right? Who doesn't like that idea? Okay, the next thing is taking out an enemy AC. Eliminate seven. Swinburn of the Vespers. Immediate mission failure if identified by surveillance MTs equipped with capture cameras. Why is that? Let's figure it out. We've received a job from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Let's take a look at the request. Raven, we have a mission we'd like to offer you. The Rubicon Liberation Front is planning to retake the wall from Archibus. And we'd like you to lay the groundwork for us. Your objective is to assassinate V-7 Swinburne, the commander of the occupying force. Swinburne has dispatched surveillance squads to monitor for intruders and hired operatives. If our plan to retake the wall is to succeed, you must not be spotted. We're counting on you to handle this discreetly. <laughs> so I'm the one that made them lose the wall, so they're hiring me so they can retake it? Interesting. Interesting. So we need to not be identified by the surveillance MTs. In order to ambush and eliminate the target detected, you'll need to adopt a different style of fighting. Yeah, there's a lot going on, Muti Mar. I love it, dude. Have a great night, 8-Ball. Congratulations on the wedding ahead of time. Main system activated. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, Cole. Right on. Commence mission. I've estimated the target's position based on the data we received. Sending results now. Watch out for the surveillance MTs. If they get a read on you, this operation is over.
well, that's certainly something. Those are some big boy missiles. Oh. All these lawless ruffians. They never learn, do they? This isn't how the Liberation Front builds their ACs. Target confirmed. It's Swinburne. The Vesper's number seven. Let's go. I see. Bela. Tired old concern falling further and further behind. Have you all sent for re-education? They will be pleased to have you. This guy talks a mad game, doesn't he? Disciplines? Getting wrecked by a stun baton? is melee. Man, that guy's uh, stun baton was popping off. What's up, Reese? They should have made it souls like either way. Hello, everyone. I mean, Monsoon, welcome back. Hello. Uh, but I, I completely disagree. It's Armored Core. This is a franchise that has existed before Souls Likes did. It's fine existing as its own entity. One new message. Raven, you have our gratitude for eliminating Swinburne. Some of us were worried that the enemy might have won you over. But it seems we can trust you after all. Glad to be on the same side. I wonder if there's a different way to make that happen. I wonder if we can actually befriend him. Like, I, I wonder if we can just kind of show up and not attack him. The way they just worded that, I wonder if that's possible. Yo, what's up, Mort? How you doing? Not every game needs to be a Souls-like. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for stopping by, Mord. Tunnel sabotage. Destroy the deprecated device deep within the underground tunnel. Extra rewards based on the number of enemies destroyed. Let's -a go. What's up, Freddy? How you Good doing? Good job for you, 621. The Balaam group sent us a request. Attention, Gun 13 Raven. Oh, I love this it when that happens more. From our affiliate Dolphin. We will be conducting a diversionary operation to attract the PCA's attention. 
You are to report to the Angerbred Tunnel in the Central Ice Field. It's a derelict watch point, slated for restoration by the PCA in the near future. Infiltrate the tunnel, then find and destroy the sensor they're planning to repair. The objective is to distract the PCA and divert forces from their local base. Briefing over. Counting on you, Gun 13. <laughs> this red guy, he's always just so military about everything. I really like my AC, guys. I don't know about the napalm. I'm not sure how effective it was during that fight, but... What's up, John? We'll catch up on the video until then. I'll watch what is left of stream time. Sounds good, bud. Thanks for tuning in. Who are the PCA exactly? They are the uh, organization responsible for closing off the planet, I guess, since the disaster of the, uh, the skies being lit ablaze. I think. This place may be derelict, but it won't be left undefended. Keep your guard up, 621. Excuse you? Oh, you got stunned into the abyss. See you later. See you later. I just got a beep of some kind. Where is that? I think. No? Okay. All right. That's the target. It's protected by a basic shield. Just hit it from the inside. No way it was that easy. Uh-oh. We gotta go? Yep. Gotta go, dude. Am I going the wrong way? I certainly am going the wrong way. Um, dude, this is kind of nuts. Oh, I'm stuck on some rocks. Keep flying.
Craven. Must you always put your life on the line? That is, uh, you know, the name of the game, yeah? That is what a AC Merc does. I guess I could have uh, taken out more enemies for more bonus pay, but it is what it is. How's it going, Walter? Hard to say. 621's still performing well, but I doubt the voices have gone away. At any rate, whatever the voices are doesn't seem to be doing any harm. For now. I was asking about you, Walter. But whatever. Bigger things. The coral. You'd better find it. Turns out, our friend's fears were warranted. Don't spend too long dealing with the PCA, Walter. Clock's ticking. Huh. Messages. Attention, Gun 13 Raven! I have a message for you from Commander Michigan, following your success at the Angerbred Tunnel. Sounds like you stared death in the face when all that coral came rushing up. That's one way to light a fire under your ass. Keep it alive for the next field trip. Over and out! <laughs> Okay. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. C rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. Ooh. We invite you to further hone your technique. Okay. Further hone my technique, I shall. Yes, Arena. We've got G4 Volta, 8 Pater. Oh, there's Sula. We defeated Sula earlier on in the game. Chatty Stick and Middle Flatwell. Let's take them on. Let's go. Gun 4, the Red Guns, the Balaam Group's AC Squad. After beating the rebellious Volta and, and Iguazu into submission, Michigan made it his personal crusade to make something of the two and thus began their daily hell. For the past seven years, neither Volta nor Iguazu have achieved their goal to punch the living daylights out of Michigan, then get the hell out of the red guns, as they would put it. Volta has since admitted defeat and is now learning about business from Wu Kuahai. Macarena 1v1s? Yeah. In er oh, not every Armored Core game, but most Armored, Armored Core games have an arena where you take on Number 17. other Entering mechs. Rank C that are AI controlled and, uh, you know, defeating them up to your reputation, you get money, stuff like that. All right. Which games don't have them? I believe a couple of the earliest ones. nuts oh my god I had connected that um, pile bunker attack, I would have been fine. Damn.
we got handed to, man. I don't think I like the napalm launcher very much, by the way. Don't think that I do. Drop kick of justice. Nailed it. <laughs> I had 92 health. <laughs> Holy shit. That guy was agile for being a tank. My god. Drifting around like a mad lad. Drifting around like a mad lad, dude. Alright, I think I know what I need to do as well. I need to upgrade the direct hit damage. Considering that, uh, you know... All my stuff does rely on direct hits, except for the napalm. Might be the way to go. Damage tuning, direct hit damage. Yes, please. Also, uh, this napalm launcher's gotta go. It's not it. It is not it. Could go back to the shotgun, but I want to try something a little bit different. Maybe... I don't want missiles. I really would like to throw a bazooka on the back. That's what I would really like to do. Doesn't look like it's going to fly so well. That puts us overburdened a little bit. Let me take a look at the, the old parts shop here. Okay, we can put these bazookas on. These ones work. Grenade launcher there works as well. Might be good, like, if I'm too far away to land a proper sword hit to just kind of pull that out and hit them with something big like that. Or, you know, just have something big to use when the Gatling guns are overheated. Grenade cannon. We are grenade cannoning. Oh, hold on. That's going to put me at an energy shortfall. Is that what that just, that just said? I thought we were good, but let's... Oh, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're in there. We're in there. Let's try this out. All right. Pater. Eighth squad leader of the Vespers, the Archibus Group's augmented human squad. A product of Generation 10, the latest and currently practiced form of augmentation surgery. Pater... Pater represents the culmination of efforts to preserve the patient's humanity through coral replacement technology. At times, his noticeably unreserved remarks hint at an underlying lack of empathy. One might assume this to be a side effect of the surgery. But this trait has in fact been with him long since before his augmentation. Okay. It's frickin' Pater, oh bud. Aptitude evaluation program, number 16. Rank C. Wow, this AC reminds me of Lynx. Um, was Lynx in Armored Core 3 or 4? I want to say... Maybe. I want to say 4. Reminds me of Lynx. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Activating combat mode. 
I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of the overall small build. again. Couldn't ha handle a single melee attack that entire time. Whew. Yeah, the grenade launcher was much more effective. Even on the speed of this guy, it still did a good amount of splash damage and helped build up that stun meter, which is gorgeous. Yeah, we both had one HP at the end there. Next up is Sula. Yeah, this fight was hell earlier in the game. A veteran independent mercenary who was active in the star system surrounding Rubicon before the fires of Ibis. Sula, ha is, Sula is a patient of Generation 1 augmentation, or better said, a survivor, as the technology in its infancy had less than 10% success rate. Though he escaped the fate of the others, Sula is followed by the spectator of or the specter of death wherever he goes. After receiving his surgery, Sula lost interest in most Merc work and now lives only for the hunts. It is unclear who currently employs him. Oh, yeah, at the end, only I had one HP, continue. that's true. C. Network instability detected. Network instability. C. AC, in angle. Call sign, Sula. Commencing valuation. Commencing valuation? What? Main system. Activating Something's wrong system. here. Appropriate arena, too. Sula just got absolutely dunked on. Destroyed. Concluded evaluation. Well done. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, when the melee hits, dude, it hits. Yeah, the grenade cannon was the play here. Absolutely was the play. I like this emblem, too. Yeah, big. Didn't expect the melee to deal that much damage. So this is a special type of melee. I don't know if you played Armored Core before Monsoon, but it's what's called a pile bunker. What that means is it basically drives a steel rod through the enemy target. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. This weapon gores the target with a massive steel pile, obliterating it through sheer physical force, charged to prime the firing hammer, enabling attacks that are enhanced by explosive damage. So it basically just takes a whole bunch of energy, and you, not only do you swing it forward, but also it hammers this, will go backwards, and then forward as you swing. And so it just stabs right through them and just does a massive amount of damage. 
It's hard to land though, that's the caveat here. It's not a very easy thing to hit. If you do hit with it though, it just, it does so much damage. The right hand of Rad's ringleader and chief engineer, Cinder Carla. One day, Carla built a simple suggestion-based AI to provide basic support and occasional entertainment. However, no matter what conversational prompt she gave him, he would never say more than necessary. Instead, it seemed that he was content to be a good listener to his creator's free-spirited, eccentric ideas. Huh. Yeah, high risk, high reward. Is there PvP in this game? Yeah. Combat aptitude evaluation program. And it's decently Number fun, 14, yeah. Rank C. All right, he's got dual bazookas. That's kind of scary. Circus. Call sign. Chatty stick. Circus. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Activating combat mode. That missile just came back and hit me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the pile bunker well is the great equalizer, dude. Loving it. But yeah, that guy was extremely tanky, yeah. Extremely tanky. But yeah, the PvP is a good time. I enjoy it. I thought I think it's decent. Okay. There's one more. Middle Flatwell. The de facto military leader of the Rubicon Liberation Front. His authority is second only to that of Father Dolmayan, and his standing within the organization has earned him an informal title as a fellow elder. He is the uncle of the Liberation Front to Dolmayan's father. For a time, Flatwell worked as a spy within the extraplanetary corporations and has sway over a rather significant contact in Schneider's HR department. They're really starting to, like, with this lore that we're reading here, they're starting to really flesh out, like, a local solar system type of lore here. They're really getting that going. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 13, rank C, final evaluation. Subject AC, Tsubasa. Call sign, Middle Flatwell. I'm not sure, Noble One. I'm not sure if the two games tie together at all. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. That took too much time to get to. Yep, that didn't work out at all. Target 
circuit destroyed. This grenade cannon's working out this pretty damn well, though. Evaluation. Well done. Tsubasa defeated. All right. Incoming comms. Congratulations. You have surpassed rank C. We hope that our aid has helped push you to achieve greater things. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Okie doke. No new parts. Sag. Sag, Sag. Big Sag. Uh, let's take a look at these different head parts now that we're here. I would like more system recovery, to be honest. What the heck is that? Okay. Yeah, we lose a lot of AP with that one, though. Become the drip itself. Stats don't matter. No, stats are actually important in this game compared to, say, like, Elden Ring. Aesthetic is one thing for sure, but the stats are important, too. Oh, look at that core. Look at that one. Let's see. There's really only one tetrapod still. Oh, that's that tank that that from that guy that we fought online earlier. That's where he got that Fort Eliza. Still no other reverse joints. All right, some new boosty boys, some new boosties. How about generators? No new gens. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and... That, did, that was it for the arena, right? Yeah, we got that. We got that. Missions. Survey the uninhabited floating city. Heavy missile launch supports. Eliminate the enforcement squads and destroy the special forces craft. All right, let's go survey the uninhabited floating city, dudes. Let's go. This is a personal request. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, From Scarecrow. Friend, we still don't have enough data to pin down. Nice, Liv. That's cool. Walter, ever the opportunist. What's up, Adam West? How you doing? How you doing, eh? The ECM fog is going to interfere with calm until it's disabled. 
It already is. Okay. Main system activating combat mode. Raven, the ECM won't interfere with our contact. But it is affecting your lock on range. Keep out of your surroundings. Okay, there must be things hidden on this level. There's no way there's not, right? There's no way there's not hidden items on a foggy level. Surely. Uh, Monsoon, I know of Berserk, but I do not know of Vindland Saga nor Vagabonds. I'll use markers to track them. You can use them if you lose your way. So many fog, yeah, so many fog. Normalization process? What does that mean? Does normalizing me mean killing me? Please don't normalize me. I don't want to be normalized. Who's attacking me from where? Who just launched a missile at me? You guys saw that missile, right? me to go this way. Nice, we found an item, guys. Sick. This is just a wild guess, but considering it is an aorta, that, you know, that's a part of, uh, you know, the inner workings of the body. It is a major um, blood vessel, right? I might be wrong there. By the way, sounds like it maybe it might be a fire control system based on that idea. Let's find the next one. Can't imagine they would name something Aorta as an external part. Yeah, it is. You're right. Nailed it. I remembered. Now I'm on the lookout for more items on this level, but I'm not sure if there will be or not. This is the one we just found, right? Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. Pretty universal. Any game that has fog in it, or any level that has fog in it, you can expect there to be hidden things.
right? Hold on, there's a man over here. That's not what I wanted to do there at all. What this? Text data, Dolmayan's writings. Symbiosis. She seemed to be contemplating the meaning of the word. This moment of happiness we share comes at the cost of her siblings. Sacrifice is all. Is that symbiosis? Surely not. Lore. We have lore chats. Surely that means there's more hidden stuff on the level, right? Surely. I don't want to hit that objective yet until we uh, really look around. That's the edge of the level. I don't know if we're going to find anything else out here. That's where we found the lore right there. I guess we're kind of good to go. I just have that feeling that I'm missing something. Observation data, the city of Xylem. Xylem remains fully operational. The Planetary, Planetary Closure Administration did their best to hide the place, but I'll find a way there soon enough. The only ones who know are the PCA and... Oh, it cuts out. It cuts out there. Wait. Maybe you should have said something before I got hit by that laser. Thoughts? Where are you? What do you mean? It was like three missions ago, dude. Alright, we'll take a look at that in a little while then. Let's look around the edges of the area. We need items, men. Every once in a while, I get that, that high-pitched ding, and it makes me think that something was found by it, but I don't think that's the way of it.
because I know the sound that happens when it does find something. And that ain't it. Put the items in the bag. Oh, damn. All right. What's up, Len? How you doing, man? Oh. That thing that just happened there. What is that? Risk of Rain 2 is a great game. We'll have Walter back after this. Oh, shit. Before they make this complicated. A helicopter! I'm afraid it's too late for that. One of these things, huh? Where's helicopter man? There you are. Come here. I wasn't close enough to be able to land that melee. I'm not worried about these things to help. I think I can handle this by myself. Oops. Not what I wanted to do. Get up high enough, dude.
Nice. Too. Now my friend can get back to surveying. Nice. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, dude. Not bad. Yeah, possibly, Cole. That might be the way of it. Catch up on chat here. I'm great. Just a little of the details for my first coloring book. Nice, dude. That's cool, man. That's cool, man. What's up, Sergeant Badadier? Good to see you. Love how fun this is for a person new to Armored Core and how smooth the game is running on my 2080 Super. Yeah, it seems pretty well optimized. Oh, it's a generator. Yep, that makes sense too. That makes sense as well. And we get a new uh, All Mind thing, I guess. Mind Alpha Bipedal. Raven, the city's defense systems were still in operation after all this time. And stranger still, the PCA personally intervened to block the survey. There must be more to Xylem. And to Walter's friend. We have 1.3 million credits, dude. 1.3 million. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new generator. Let's see what we got. Energy capacity is up. The recharge is bad. The supply recovery is bad. The weight is light, though. Coral-based internal combustion generator developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute. This model takes advantage of the coral's biological traits, enabling rapid recovery by pushing combustion to its limits. I'll try it out. We'll try it. Why not? It is a uh, a hidden hidden thing after all, so why not? Why not try? Okay, next sortie. Heavy missile launch support. Defend the main missile of the RAD missile battery until the launch sequence completes. Additional rewards for defending submissiles. Oh god. Long time no see, tourist. I've got a job for you. The PCA show of force has finally started to affect my own business. Those spineless coyotes jumped at the chance to become their lackeys. Now they're feeling ambitious and sniffing around RAD territory again. I'd say this calls for fireworks, and I've got something that'll blow them away. The coyotes can be ungrateful, though. They're bound to come running to stop the launch. Yeah, it's pretty great, Pack. That's where you come in. Intercept them and defend the missiles. We'll make sure the coyotes and the PCA get a chance to see RAD's famous fireworks. All right. Well, let's go. What's up, RBM? It's almost time, Raven. Let's head over. Hopefully the dozers won't be too dosed up on cool to make an appearance. Doped up on coral. Thank you. 
Is it just me or my booster is different color because of the generator? They look like coral now. That's actually cool. Oh yeah, you haven't met. Chatty's our systems admin. Doesn't talk much, but he knows his stuff. Anyway, no time for pleasantries. We've got coyotes to deal with. Never thought they'd end up palling around with the PCA. What's up, surfing? How you doing? Smart, but not for long. Here comes the second wave. Keep the fireworks safe. They're coming from the front left side. Intercept, Raven. No prop. Four and a half minutes to go. I like to see, Taurus. I almost pity the poor fools. Have a good night, Mythic Blue. Crazy that I have the room for this huge ass grenade cannon. That's crazy to me. Uh oh. PCA.
looks like I was a little off. Well, close enough is good enough for me. Wow, those were some big booms. Right. They really are like fireworks. Damn. A warship even showed up, dude. God damn. Is it on console? Yes, this is on console as well. One new message. What do we got? Walter? Nope. Chatty stick, RAD. Thanks for helping with the fireworks show. The chief loved working with you, so don't be a stranger. That's all, right. all I had to say. Later. <laughs> all right. That was an AI, by the way. <laughs> AI literally said, later, bro. <laughs> okay. Dude, this combination of everything I have going on is so good. Like, I am very, very happy with all of this. This has been great. The dual Gatlings. And we got the songbirds for the uh, the grenade cannon and then the Ashmead pile bunker. I didn't use the pile bunker at all that, uh, that time, but that's okay. Next mission is eliminate the enforcement squads. Let's do it. Six, two, Love one. this game, White We've Witch. Also got a corporate job. You get to choose the colors? Yes. The AC from head to toe is completely customizable. Including the paint job. Attention, Gun 13 Raven. This military operation is approved by Balaam HQ. All right, Red. Liberation Front took action regarding the Archibus controlled wall. But ultimately, both parties were suppressed by the Planetary Closure Administration. Their loss is our gain. There won't be a better opportunity for Balaam to steal the show. We want you to head to the combat zone and eliminate the enforcement squads deployed by the PCA. Be aware that their forces include a new type of craft, the HC. That's why we've chosen you. Balaam's counting on you, Gun 13. Happy hunting. Yep, here's a new experimental type of core. Go ahead and fight it, nerd. All right, let's go. Seems Balaam can't let go of their failure to climb the wall. That's fine. We'll make it work for us. Okay. All right. Main system activating combat mode. Oh, dude, that's so sick! There's something about flying in, gunning one down, and then drop kicking the other that is just so metal, dude. So damn metal. They're piggybacking on SG's belly. Code 5, target for termination sighted. Engaging. I'm pretty happy with my AC, guys. I'm pretty pleased. Let's look around for any potential items out here. What's up, Alvis? How you doing, huh? Is 
feel like, uh, you know, somewhere along this wall would be a decent spot to hide an item, but... I do not see anything. Do, 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 do. Anything off the side here? Nope, that's out of bounds. All right. All right, all right, man. Nope, that's not going to reach. So one thing I do not like about this generator is the recovery speed. But when it does recover, it seems to recover more of the energy. It requires like, I want to say 75% of the meter when it does recover. So that's interesting. Uh oh, there's a lot of gamers in here. Nothing a grenade cannon can't handle, though. Bond with available forces. We need time to activate the HC. Okay, chat, what's an AC? Armored core. Or air conditioner. Or Assassin's Creed. Or Animal Crossing. <laughs> but in this case, it is armored core. Combat works as well. Yeah, that's true. Code five, solo AC. Code two, three, attending C. Captain alone is helping the AC. That AC must be our independent work. Moving to terminate. Look at this guy. imagine with the pile bunker is just the guy inside right before he rips the heart out of the ac goes kalima <laughs> what is that movie i'm drawing a blank kalima ac versus gundam who would win armored core based on speed alone Indiana Jones, yes. Temple of Doom. There it is. Good call, Trap. Good trap. Good call. You again. I'm a busy man. Far too busy for the likes of you. So I hear. Must be a tough time to be the Vesper's deputy commander. Get to the point. <laughs> What's up, Bunk Bed? To raid the PCA. You're going to need more pawns on the board. Of course. You're here to hawk your services again. Very well. I'll consider that mutt of yours part of the effort. One more thing. Show my hound some respect. Gen 4 is as good a pedigree as any other. Okay. One new message. Yeah, Snail is tell of us from another timeline. Go 13 Raven! Hey, Red! That was a beautiful massacre at the wall. You're a survivor, no doubt. Let me give you some advice. Don't 
and settle for being an independent. Join the Red Guns. Have a career. Climb the ranks. Keep that unlucky number, and eventually the curse will get you to. That's all. Don't forget what I said about putting you to work. I think so, Richard. He's realized our capability is much higher than his original expectations. All right. Attack the old spaceport is up next. Attack the base seized by the Planetary Closure Administration. Destroy all birth warships. Oh, God. All birth warships? Mid-route rendezvous with friendly craft and extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. And that's a big, uh, a big reward. So I'm kind of expecting there to be a big old boss here, too, of some kind. Anything new and cool and exciting? I don't think so. Man, I would love to put on the, uh, what is it, Tian Kiang core just for the attitude stability would be a major upgrade, but it's just a little bit too heavy for us. Just a, a, just a tad too heavy for what I have going on. I could probably put it on there if I were to give up my... Uh, grenade launcher, my grenade cannon, but man, the grenade cannon is so good. It just goes very well with my build. I just want something with more attitude stability because I keep getting staggered by the most mundane of things. But having something a little bit more tanky in that regard would be nice. Guys, we're going to call it a night here. I just wanted to look over, see if there's anything cool in the shop. When we come back tomorrow, it looks like we're going to be finishing up Chapter 3. This isn't the final mission of Chapter 3, but I do expect that to end fairly shortly after this mission. I'll be back again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. For now, i got to go work on some videos for Starfield to release to you guys on Thursday. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel, and hey, make sure you're looking at the channel on Thursday, guys. I'm going to put out a lot of videos that day, and I need your support on them so very much. I'm very excited to be able to do this. Uh, Bethesda has given me a massive opportunity. I can't talk about the game at all yet, but I will put out everything that I can on Thursday for you guys. So I hope to see you guys on the, you know, on the comment sections of those videos come Thursday. In the meantime, I hope you all have an excellent day, excellent night, whatever it may be for you. Thank you all for tuning in. Much love to you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, be excellent to each other.